Hey there, and welcome to my review of the SH Monster Arts Kong, the 8th wonder of the world, or better known simply as just King Kong. This is the first non-Godzilla entry into the SH Monster Arts line, though without a doubt this big ape holds up well to the other releases. Now, let's take a look at what makes collectors go bananas over Kong. Alright, first thing worth talking about on Kong is the sculpt. And it is killer. Killer. See all the little details on the chest, all the fur throughout all of Kong, the little groove marks everywhere for the fur and the cuts. All oh, looks so good. Looks near exact to the prototype. This particular face looks very mean. Urgh. Scowling. Nose, ears, eyes, mouth. I mean, Kong is really amazing looking. Whoa. Focus in there. There we go. The paint on Kong, well, simplistic. Kong is all really one color. A dark, dark gray, black. Fists are... A slightly different color. Well, the hands are. Those are the chest. The eyes have a nice orange tint to them. And all of the cuts all over Kong have this noticeably strong red. A noticeably strong red. And depending on the light, they seem very, very bright in color. Making them look fresh instead of, say, Kong's had them for a while. So it looks good. I mean, really, there are no complaints with the paint or the sculpt. And there's no slop with any of the cuts either. It's all within the lines. There's no paint slop on the tooth there, getting onto the rest of the face of Kong. Nothing wrong with the eyes. The eyes look perfect. So yeah, for the sculpt and paint on Kong, I would say Kong is flawless. So just how articulated is Kong? Start with the head, work down to the feet. First off, Kong's neck is on a ball joint. That's about the range of movement there. Shoulders, ball joint. Right shoulder on mine's a bit stiff. That's all right. Biceps. Swivel. But here's an interesting thing. It's not a swivel. It's a ball joint. That's all Kong has. Elbow joints. Here and here. Those are actually ball joints but they work on a hinge system, kind of. Hands, ball jointed. Torso, system goes back really, really well. And I'll show you Kong walking on all fours later. Going forward, not so much. And this is why, because as you can see here, he's kind of free to go back for the cut, but not so much forward. As you can see how it lines up there. So, yeah. There is a bottom cut here. Ball jointed again. Thighs at the hips. Ball joint. Knees. Same system as the elbows. Ball joint. But it works as a hinge. Feet, ball joint, and the toes work on a double hinge, as you can see, to give him the monkey foot look. 
this one of mine doesn't work too well. Oh, there we go. Got the toes to actually bend. But yeah, articulation overall on Kong, it's good. Just would have liked to have made Kong bend forward a little bit more or turn his head more to the side, but you can sort of turn the torso and turn the head. Urgh. Yeah, articulation on Kong, very nice. Very nicely done. So, what all does King Kong come with? Well, first off, let's take a look at the hands. To begin, Kong comes with a set of splayed hands. A set of hands for walking on his knuckles. A set of hands for holding on to another accessory that he comes with. And another hand with a little minifigure of Anne sculpted into it. Yaw. For faces, Kong comes with this whooping, hooting face. Very comical. And also with this mad, screaming face. Looks like he woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Along with this, for support, Kong comes with this stage act, base, and arm, along with a larger claw to support Kong's larger size. And finally, the best accessory that any figure could ever possibly come with. Highly detailed, highly accurate, masterfully sculpted and painted in scale log. Or in Kong's case, a twig. Not sure why this was included in particular, but it's there. All right, let's put some of these to work. All right, I'm going to put Kong into a knuckle walking pose now, since there are some people that don't know how to do it. Easy enough. Hands, ball jointed. They pop off and they easily pop back on, the new ones. So, twist the legs. Tilt the chest back. Put the arms down. Like this. And bada bing. A walking gorilla on his knuckles. Very basic. Not too hard to do. Now, for the faces. Simple enough. Grab face. Take new face. And pop it on. Grrr. So for the accessories for Kong overall, they are not bad. In the least, 
I like them. Not too much to complain about. Not too much to complain about at all. Except possibly maybe more options for hands. But there are a lot of different display options for Kong. So I'd have to say the accessories are fantastic. This particular rendition of King Kong is a rather small one. And unfortunately, this is the only figure from the King Kong world that exists in the SH Monster Arts line. So, realistically speaking, the rest of the line doesn't exactly scale with Kong. Though I'd say it's a nice fit. Could be a little bit smaller, but... If you're looking for a larger Godzilla to go along with King Kong, Burning Godzilla fits in well there. Since Burning Godzilla, Godzilla 1995, is the larger Godzilla in the line, so guess that works for display buddies. But yes, unfortunately, King Kong is out of scale based on actual measurements. And it seems like maybe Kong shouldn't be that large. But I'm not complaining about it. I actually like the scaling myself. I just know that a few people are upset about it. And that is how he actually scales with the rest of the line. My final thoughts on Kong are fantastic. I really, really love this entry in the SH Monster Arts line. I have to say, it's one of my favorite figures in the SH Monster Arts line. If I had to do a top four, I'd say it would include Godzilla 1995, Destroya, Space Godzilla, and King Kong. Kong's about $55, $56 on Amazon now. And I'd say that is a great price for Kong. MSRP, I th believe, was $64.99. So, for that, it's a steal. Plus, the other day, they had him for, I think it was $45 shipped. That's pretty good. That's pretty great, actually. So Kong has fantastic sculpt. Great paint apps. Articulation, at some points, leaves a little bit to be desired, such as the range of motion in the neck and looking down with the app crunch. Because I mean, going back, perfect. Just going, leaning forward. But despite those little flaws in Kong, I would definitely say that the king of the jungle can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the king of the monsters.